Hopefully this camera is working right. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I got a golf club. It's a uh, HTA Boron Ascente 9, right? Is this a 9? Yeah. No, it's a 6 iron. Uh, and that's pretty immaterial. <clears throat> yeah, cars and golfing is kind of gone together for a very long time. Holy shit. I just noticed there's a uh, scratch in the glass of the lens. Oh, well. That's great. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, golfing and sports cars. Shit. That kind of took me off. Golfing and sports cars go together like chips on a hot dog. It doesn't really matter. I hate golf. And for those of you that love it, well, good for you. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm not a good golfer. Maybe that's the problem. What I am trying to do is do a good job with this here uh, car, which I haven't spent a lot of time doing or working on. But uh, if you can tell, I put in or I put on this uh, back valance. No, it's just whatever it is. It's the back panel. It looks pretty smart on there. Still needs to be touched up with paint in little places around, but uh, it's kind of looking like a real car again. I did do a little bit of welding. I took the Subaru transmission mount and chopped it and fitted it up and welded it to this here uh, suspension cross member that structurally ties everything together. So that's all one big piece. And it's just, you know, it's not like the end all be all or completely done, but this uh, helps to locate it because um, a lot has happened in the last time since I was on here, or, or maybe it hasn't, but we bought a house uh, about an hour south of Palo Alto, and it's beautiful, it's in the country, and still moving stuff down there, and I'm getting ready to move this sucker down there into a two-car garage, and I will be able to make uh, better videos other than uh, this. Sorry. Oh, also, I am uh, sporting a t-shirt by these guys on YouTube called Cold War Motors. <laughs> uh, sick Cars for Sick Planet is their tagline. And they, well, it's mainly one guy, Scott, on there. And he does some extraordinary work. He's uh, up in Canada, and uh, you guys should really check him out. It was super entertaining and really educational and it's just it's a treat to watch those guys in action so uh today uh i'm going to incorporate this here uh six iron into uh a part of the car and it's not going to be me beating the crap out of the car uh because i still love the car it's still it's still been good to me and it's going to be a creative outlet which I'm going to sorely need because I have been ridiculously busy. Anyway, uh, let's go to it. So here I, here, well, here we are now in the garage. Uh, yeah, my professor glasses on, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to just kind of tear apart this uh, this fancy uh, golf club that I got for a dollar at the local thrift store down in Monterey. Uh, the reason why I got it <clears throat> is it has a carbon fiber shaft or a graphite shaft, whatever it is. It's light. All right. I haven't taken apart one of these yet, so this will be fun. I'm just going to uh, take out this guy, see uh, how that works. Yeah? Yeah. Somewhat effective. Let me see if I can see what I'm doing here.
Today on How It's Made, a golf club, how it's unmade. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really finding this strangely satisfying. because of my brief but bitter affair with, uh, with golfing, but yeah, I, doing something that will do one little less bit of damage on the golf course, <laughs> at least when I play, and uh, making something uh, actually useful, because uh, a six iron is really not useful to me, and uh, you know, shouldn't have something like that when I'm behind the wheel because of road rage. I uh, occasionally like to dress up in an uh, astronaut uniform and go out and express my road rage with a golf club behind the wheel. Sorry, that's a, uh, that's a Simpsons thing. If anybody's baffled by that. Alright, so hey. Golf clubs, graphite shafts, are hollow. Alright, good to know. Alright, so. And it still has an ugly... Uh, finish on it. Uh -oh. We're going to do something about that at the end of all this, but until then, and this uh, golf club belonged to John E. Logan of Lompoc, California. John, I uh, appreciate you donating this to the thrift store where I got it. And its days of service are not over with. Okay. And since this, uh, this whole build, this little project here, is about weight, is I want to make this as light as humanly possible. I guess uh, I saw that How It's Made video on golf clubs. Apparently, this is some uh, pretty good stainless steel, these heads are. Uh, typically, stainless doesn't uh, want to cooperate very well with drilling or cutting, but, uh, you know, we're going to give it the old clubhouse try.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, with all this, I shortened it up a little bit more, uh, but it's kind of nice, this little uh, plastic uh, bit before it goes into the stainless head uh, clamps perfectly up on that little retainer and yeah, it allows the part to close no problem, it weighs you know, next to nothing as far as whatever graphite could wear, uh, could weigh. And we got stainless down here. We have uh, this little pipe that I used uh, was stainless also. Uh, at this point, all I need to do is uh, just kind of rough up the inside of the graphite and the outside of the stainless bin, epoxying them together, and then paint this. <laughs> Uh, get rid of that color, and I guess as they say in Britain, Bob's your uncle. Alright, so yes, that is what today was about, is making a uh, engine deck lid prop for the Lancia. And yeah, it weighs absolutely nothing and uh, should easily take the force of that uh, deck lid. Uh, yeah, these graphite golf clubs are designed to take a lot of abuse. Uh, I never had a graphite golf club, so, but I abused the living crap out of the ones I had, and apparently these are even stronger. Anyway, I will get rid of this uh, uh, color on it. I'm not a big fan of uh, lavender, but yeah, this is what I did today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, check out Cold War Motors uh, if you want to be entertained and, and uh, probably learn a lot more than I'm <laughs> conveying <laughs> with my builds. Uh, I hope to get more into this and share more of these videos of my progress a lot sooner. Uh, that's, that's about it for now. I got a lot on my plate, but this was a fun little diversion. All right. Bye. If you'd like to, uh, I guess subscribe, uh, share this with your friends, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I, I still don't really give a shit about YouTube. There, I said it. <laughs> I'm just sharing. All right, you guys have fun, and oh yeah, let's all try to do something nice for everyone else. There's way too much uh, division and strife going on, and really, we're all basically just this, the same basic people. And there's, yeah, there's jerks out there, but... They're operating probably from a position of hurt, and or just some of them, I guess, like being jerks. Probably because they're, you know, living from a position of pain or whatever. So, do something nice. You know, create that ripple that uh, that makes a difference, and uh, and just love this life. You know, I'm doing my best too, and I hope uh, you enjoy this little interlude. 
anyway, uh, I love you guys out there, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. All right, bye-bye. Golf! Oh!